theology till 2020. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, permit me to this debate on the appeal for an act to establish the University of History and Archaeology in this year as a degree awarding institution specially dedicated to research and training in history and archaeology and other related disciplines. This bill was read for the first time in this Allo Chamber on Tuesday, 17th of March, 2020. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, it is a matter of common knowledge that history and archaeology go to the root of human existence. And we can only appreciate our present and probably direct our future if we are well equipped with knowledge of the past. The proposed university sought to be established by this bill is a specialized institution which will be specially dedicated to research and training in history and archaeology and all other related disciplines. It's here in Quora South Central District is very rich in unique historical monuments. The first national museum in Nigeria was established in 1945 at year to house the world's largest collection of relics in soft stone sculpture at year. More discovery are still being made on that site which provides a justification for us of this proposed university. Mr. President, distinguished colleague, the proposed university is necessary against these backdrops. Number one, undisputable importance of knowledge in the field of history and archaeology and related disciplines, which have fallen short over the years in Nigeria. The proposed university will dedicate sustained attention to these matters, among other concerns. The central objective is to use such findings to mobilize Nigerians towards greater commitment to nation building. The establishment of this specialized university will further enhance the economic influence of visitors worldwide as in pyramids of Egypt, the temples in Greece, Marco in Piku, and Great Wall in China, among many others. The proposed university will also serve as a center for periodic international conferences, research and cultural exchange center for the whole world. The United States here, the other nations of the world, have such specialized institutions devoted to history and archaeology, such as UCD School of Archaeology in Ireland and British School of Archaeology in Jerusalem. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, the specific objectives of this bill, among others, are to encourage the advancement of learning and opportunity of acquiring higher and liberal education in the in, in field of history and archaeology, to provide courses of instruction and training to various level of personnel required for the fields of history and archaeology, to develop an over academic and professional program, postgraduate research, using the award of diplomas, first degree, higher degrees in history, archaeology, and related fields. to establish appropriate relationship with other national and international institutions involved in training, research, and development. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, the establishment of this University of History and Archaeology 
at present site of museum at Isia in Kwara State, we further preserve these soft stones in urban form, enable the student to have in-depth knowledge of these historic relics, irrespective of race, religion, state, or nationality. In line with Order 77-3 of our standing rules, the financial compendium of the of the University is attached. My president, distinguished colleague, I urge you all to support the second reading of this bill to foster the best of cultural and democratic ideas of this nation. I say submit. Mr. Senator. Sparkia, representing Katina Center. Thank you, Mr. President. I rise to support this very, very important bill, at least for its passage, because of its importance. Mr. President, distinguished is everybody knows the importance of history. But unfortunately, this country, since the removal of history as a subject in our public school, now our children don't know where they came from and where they are now. Mr. President, distinguished history is very, very important. Of course, we have to know the history of our culture, history of our religion, so that, yes, we know the history of even our ancestors, where we came from and where we are. So, Mr. President, not only establishing this university, we have to also uh, call the federal government to bring back the history subject in our public school. So that, for example, now after establishing this university, Mr. President, where, then, this, where do we have the children that will attend this university? If, for example, now we didn't uh, bring back the history as a subject. So, Mr. President, I really rise and support the passage of this bill because of its importance. Thank you very much. Mr. President, I rise to second that the bill of the University of History and Archaeology is here be considered and read for the second time. Mr. President, as is a popular axiom that you don't know where you are going to or you cannot go there if you don't know where you are coming from is relevant at all times. History studies have been neglected in our societies and of course this has significant impact on the manner we are progressing as a people. We need to revisit this. And establishing this institution in ECA where already historical monuments are available will be the right thing to do. Mr. President, I encourage us to support this bill so that it will be read for the second time. Thank you, Mr. President. A bill for an act to establish the University of History, Archaeology, and Education. And for related matters 20, 21, second reading taken, and the bill is referred to the Committee on Tertiary Institutions and Third Fund to report by within four weeks. Leader of the Senate.